Thank you for joining us for the Fox 8 News at noon. I'm Madison Forsey. The Alamance Burlington School System has a plan to make up their $3 million budget shortfall, but it comes at a price for the district's virtual school. Before they make any decisions, though, the school board plans to appoint a new interim chief financial officer. Fox 8 Sarah Winkleman joins us live at the district offices. A meeting was scheduled to happen to in about an hour to talk about possible budget solutions, but Sarah, there's just been a change in the agenda. That's right, Madison. They're still going to have that meeting, but they're not going to be discussing the superintendent's proposal for those budget solutions. Instead, they're just going to be talking about appointing that interim CFO. Now, on that solution proposal from the superintendent is cutting the Alamance Virtual School. Now, as you can see behind me, parents and students of that school not happy about this proposal. And even though the meeting to discuss that is no longer happening this afternoon, that has not stopped them from coming out here today to the district offices to let the board know they don't support the closure of the virtual school to get the funding needed to keep the district afloat. Now, as a reminder of how we got here, the General Assembly now looking into the district's finances after they announced their $3.2 million budget shortage. Shortfall. Within the past week alone, Chief Finance Officer Kim McVeigh left her position and Lowell Rogers was appointed. The very next day, he was removed because he faces charges of interfering in an investigation involving a minor. Now, today, the school board plans to appoint the former CFO of Wake County Schools, the largest district in the state, as the interim chief financial officer to help during this transition. Again, that's all they're going to be discussing at the meeting today at 1 o'clock and then on Monday, that is when they'll be discussing the future of the virtual school here in Alamance County. So if you'd like to come to that public hearing, that's happening Monday at 630 right here at the district offices. We'll bring you the stories of these students and these parents behind us later on tonight in our evening newscast. Live in Alamance County, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News.